You know, it doesn't really matter what method you use to make your water safe to drink, regardless if it's some type of a filter system or you're just going to rely on boiling. It's much more efficient if you first pre-filter your water, clean all the sand, all the dirt, all the organic matter out first. And one of the best ways of doing that is with something like these mill bank bags. So if you're interested in finding out what a mill bank bag is, keep watching. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Millbank Bags of USA for sending me these two samples so that I could share them with you. Do you know Millbank Bags have been around for a long time? They were originally issued to the British Army in the early 1940s, and every soldier would get a Millbank bag and some chlorine tablets in order to make his drinking water safe. And after they were stopped being issued, you used to be able to find them in surplus stores for quite a while, British surplus stores mostly, but eventually that source has dried up. And that's where Milk Bank Bags of USA comes in. So they have picked up the design and started making them in the United States of America and sell them quite readily. It's a really, really simple concept. It's just a canvas bag tied with a piece of lanyard on it, a loop, a shape that works, and I'll explain more about that in a minute. And all it's intended to do is filter out the larger particles that are in the water. You know, sand, organic material, that type of thing. So it pre-filters your water. It does not by itself make your water safe to drink. So after you run your water through these bags, you still have to do something with it. It could be chemical disinfection, like the chlorine tablets that used to be used by the military. It could be a filtering system, like an Aquamira, Sawyer, whatever system that you have or you could probably get away with just boiling it. Remember, it's not actually removing any of the viruses, bacteria, or protozoas from the water. It's just removing a lot of the organic matter, which in often cases, those items are also attached to. So you still have to do something with it after you pre-filter it. And of course, the other benefit of using something like a mill bank bag to pre-filter your water is that it's going to extend the life of any other filter system you have, because usually that's what happens like the Sawyer, it gets clogged up and has to be back flushed. Well, if you can prevent it from getting clogged up in the first place, then you're going to extend its life, of course. Okay, so what I thought I would do is I'll go over a few of the specifications for these two canvas bags, and then I'll demonstrate how they were used. So once again, Mill Bank Bags of USA did send me two of these Mill Bank Bags, and they are identical except for size. So by showing you one of them and talking about its construction and key features, really, I am talking about both of them. So this is the larger of the two. It is about a one or about a five liter size. So very close to what the original bags were when they were issued to the military. And what you see is it's made of heavy duty canvas and all of the stitching across all of the seams is triple stitched. It has a stainless steel grommet here and it has one meter of paracord for attaching to a tree or whatever that you're going to attach it to, of course. Uh, and as I mentioned, they are made in the United States of America. So I, what I will do, rather than go through all the specifications for them, is I will put all that information in the video description below. Basically, the difference is the size and the volume. So this being a 5-liter bag and this being a 1.4-liter bag. All right, so what I think I'll do now is I'll move over to Streamside here and demonstrate how these bags are used. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do when you're looking for a spot to uh, use your mill bank bag is to find something, uh, the best source of water. So as clear as you can already find it is better. But if all you have is a mud puddle like I'm dealing with here, full of leaves and very stagnant organic matter, you know, I can't see to the bottom. It's actually not very deep even. If that's all you have, then of course that's what you use. That's what this thing really is designed for, is when there's a lot of matter floating around in the water. So once you've chosen that, if it's a running stream or if it's moving, you're going to want to tie your bag onto something to prevent it from getting away from you, of course. This is very uh, still stagnant right here, so I won't have to. Now, the thing with these bags is the canvas, the resistance to water moving through canvas has to be overcome. And the only way to do that is to pre-soak it. So basically submerge it in the water for a few minutes, kind of bury it right in the water, give it five, 10 minutes, and uh, you'll know from experience, you can see it actually almost disappears under the silt that's in there. So I'll come back in a few minutes time when the bag is well soaked and we'll go on to the next step. 
All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, you know, the time is more important the first couple of times you use it. Seems to me, at least from my experiences so far, that the more often you use the bag, and keep it clean because it will clog up in itself. We'll talk about maintenance of the bag uh, in a few minutes' time. But, yeah, the first time I used it, it took a longer for the bag to become saturated. But after that, it got a little shorter. So it's been not quite 10 minutes, I think. So we'll just remove the stick. And the bag is feels well saturated. I don't see anything that looks like it might be dry. Maybe a little bit around the top where it was just kind of floating out of the water. All right, so the next trick is to put as, fill the water, fill it, fill it right up to the very top. Just fill it up to the top, but don't be in a rush to hang this over your bottle receptacle pot or whatever, and I'll explain in a minute. So first thing I'm gonna do is fill this up, and then I'm gonna transfer it over to a place where I have a down tree that I can hang it from before we start filtering it. So. Just reach in, get as much water in there as I can. If you don't fill it all the way to the top, it's not the end of the world. But if you can fill it to the top, then even better. And you can see it's already draining, which is good. All right, so what I'll do is I'll go over to where I'm setting up and we'll transfer the camera over there. Okay, so I have the bag tied off to a down tree here. And you can see that it is draining quite readily, which is exactly what you're looking for. Now, I could put my pot under this right away, but the recommendation is, is that you wait. If you filled the bag up to the very top, wait until the bag or the water level comes down to about the black line. Now, the reason you're doing that is you want everything on the outside that's going to run off to already have run off before you put your pot under it. And then all you're going to be collecting is water that's on the inside of the bag. So, easy enough. Now it's just a matter of waiting. Now at that rate, it'll take about maybe five minutes maybe for the bag to empty and do as much, well, put as much as you can into your pot. So once that's filtered through, we'll come back. All right, in a matter of just a few minutes, the bag emptied out and I have, well, I stopped it at about a half a pot because that's all I needed for making my lunch today. But uh, it's hard to tell you just how much clearer it is. It's, I mean, it's clear, it's, it's tempting to drink as it is, but of course, that, that would not be a good idea. Eh, there's the tiniest bit of silt that may have passed through the bag itself, but otherwise, well, let me just show you. Now, the bag is still dripping because I just took it down, but I want to open it up and turn it inside out to show you what it is. I hope I can do this to show you what it is the bag caught that did not go into my drinking water. Yeah, all right. I don't know if now, can you see the inside of the bag and the organic matter, the dirt? Look how dirty the bag is itself. So by using this, I kept all of that out of my drinking water. Highly effective for doing what its intended job is. All right. Simple demonstration for a very simple project. Uh, product. Uh, let's just have a few closing words. All right, a few closing words on using the Millbank bag from Millbank Bags USA. Yeah, so just a couple of thoughts. First off, uh, before having, I got these, I was using my bandana to do the job. And it's not a bad stopgap measure. If that's all you have is your bandana, then use it by all means to get rid of as much of the organic matter and the silt and everything else as possible. But if you've ever done that, you'll know it's not an easy thing to do. And it's not truly highly effective. The material is very thin, catches a lot of it, catches the large stuff, but it doesn't get the finer silts. So yeah, it's not quite as good as the Millbank. Actually, it's nowhere near as good as the Millbank bag is. What other alternatives are? Well, you could make one yourself. I suppose you could use an old pair of jeans or anything that's made of canvas and cut the leg off, sew it to, to that angle so it forces the water towards the point, make your own. Um, that would work. You could do that, but you know it takes time to make that. Now, if you're handy enough and you want to do that, by all means do that. But if you're looking for something that was specifically made for this purpose, these are not what you call expensive items and well worth having in your kit. If the area you go into does not have a good source of running water that's running clear and you're likely to encounter muddy water like I showed you today or worse, then um, it's something to consider. All right, just, so just a few more thoughts. Here's one thing that I've learned. 
I carry mine in a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag. And the reason is, is not so much for going out, uh, it's for coming home. So if you, uh, once this bag is, uh, gets wet, it's gonna stay wet for a good long time. Now in the summer, you could hang it off the back of your backpack and allow it to dry naturally in the sun. Still gonna take a while to dry. It doesn't prevent it from being used. It's just that you don't wanna put it inside your bag with all your other stuff where it might get everything else wet. So hence the plastic bag. That's, that's my recommendation. Take a plastic bag for it. But when you do get home, get it out of this plastic bag as quick as possible because you don't want it to remain wet in the bag where mold could grow on it, will grow on it if you don't get it out. So a couple of more things. Uh, as far as maintaining the bag itself, by all means wash it, hand wash it, lukewarm water, no soap. Turn it out, inside out so all the dirty side is facing outwards. Use a scrub brush if you feel it's necessary. Use hand warm water, but do not use boiling water. You're not looking to sterilize the bag. You're just looking to clean the dirt out of the pores of the canvas. If you use really hot water, you may well regret it because it is canvas. Guess what will happen? It will shrink and you won't get any water through it after that. It'll be just too tight. The weave will be too tight after it's been shrunk in order to be effective. So by all means, do wash it out. I'll certainly be washing that out when I get home. Soap is not necessary. It'll take on a stain, as you saw. That one's already starting to stain from the mud. But again, that does not affect its effectiveness as a water filter. All right, and the last thing is, I just want to remind you again, this does nothing to purify your water. Any viruses, bacteria, and organics, and heavy metals, or anything else that may have been in the water are still in your water. You haven't gotten rid of them. All you got rid of was the sand or organic matter. You still have to do something to treat it. Uh, boiling will kill all the uh, uh, living organisms, but of course it won't get rid of any of the metals or chemicals or anything else that may be in it. You need a proper filter designed for doing that, something that has a, usually a carbon element inside of it. Okay, I think I've said enough. As I mentioned, what I'll do is I'll put the specifications for each of these bags as far as the dimensions and the weights in the video description. I'll also put the links to Millbank Bag USA. And again, you could come up with your own and make your own, but if you're not interested in going in a DIY project, and trust me, if you haven't tried a bandana, bandana, you can make it work. It's just a lot easier to use a bag like this than it is a bandana. Uh, yeah. I'll put all that information in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.